Lars in Sweden writes, I have the audio files guide and the CD. Excellent, sir. I have used it to set up my floor standing speakers in my dedicated music room, and I am happy about the improvement. Good. That's why I wrote the book. So if you haven't had a chance, here's a shameless plug. Go out and find, look up the audio files guide. You can find it on Amazon. And it, it really does help. My taste of music is rock, blues, and some jazz. And from the 1960s to, pre to the present, my source is streaming, CDs, and LPs listening at 80 dB, which is pretty low. My system is decent, revealing, and enjoyable. My question is, assuming I'm now pretty close to the best placement of the speakers with the tools provided, is this valid for all genres of music? And the answer is yes. So one of the things that I try and get across to people is that when we're setting up our systems, when we're doing what I consider to be probably at least half as important, if not more, than the actual quality of the equipment that you're listening through, set up. It is so, so important. When you're doing that, one of our goals is to get proper setup. And what does that mean? Well, proper setup means that once you get everything dialed in, no matter what genre of music you are playing, rock, folk, blues, goth, you know, whatever it is you're playing, it's going to perform at its best within that system. And that's part of the deal. What we don't want to do, and this is, again, partly why I wrote the audio files guide, what we don't want to do is set it up to where it works great for jazz, but when you put rock on, it's kind of, uh, th that's the wrong way. You didn't set it up right. Because while it might be great for one form, it's not great for everything. And that means you, you just didn't get it right. So when you use the CD, you'll notice that we have all genre of music on there. And when I set up a system, whether I use that disc or I have my 10 favorites, I do everything from rock to jazz to vocals to octave recordings that I've made because I know them. And it's a wide variety of music. And that's really important because you want this big, broad, general category and you have to go through it like the bass is great here, but it's not too great there. Then we're going to balance it out. And it's, it's a chore. But that chore, that setup, that is critical to getting it right. So, yeah, glad you found the audio files guide. And I have to tell you, I am working on revising it, writing a whole new series. I'm going to do the audio files guide, the extended version. I've just finished uh, the uh, secrets, uh, uh, unlocking the secrets of analog. I'm going to work on unlocking the secrets of digital next. I'm pretty excited, actually. There's, this is fun. I'm, I'm having a good time just putting all this crazy stuff up in my head down on paper. So I'll, I'll let you know when there's more here. There's a lot of work to be done. But OK, thanks for the question. Talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>